Hi, I'm Francesca Rosowska, the Chief Executive of Nature Scott. Our mission at Nature Scott is to realise a nature rich future for all. And to do this, we must first understand it. This cannot be done alone. Work by you, citizen scientists, helps us learn so much about the natural world. From recording patterns in the breeding of birds to the migration of whales, tracking the effects of invasive species and informing how best to manage habitat and landscape changes. Last year saw the end of the 2020 challenge for Scotland's biodiversity, a strategy and route map to achieve national and international targets. Without the immense hard work of Scotland's dedicated citizen scientists, we would not have such a rich understanding of the changes in our land and sea. Thank you for your contribution to research, reporting and policy. And thank you for helping Scotland realise a nature-rich future. A huge thanks to Calmac Ferries and all the volunteers on the Marine Awareness Programme. The information on seabirds and marine mammals collected from the surveys contributes to important UK-wide data sets. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Butterfly Conservation and all their hard-working volunteers gathering data on moths and butterflies and helping us to report on the state of nature in Scotland. Hi, just about to head in the water with my kids. Wanted to say a big thank you from our marine and coastal team for all the information that Sea Search dives and snorkelers and the Nesky and Integrate Paddling volunteers have sent to us, especially in this challenging year. All the information you send to us makes a big difference to marine conservation in Scotland. Well done to the Scottish Ornithologist Club and a band of over 800 citizen scientists who have produced the birds in South East Scotland 2007 to 13. Congratulations. We would like to say a massive thanks to all the TCV Scotland Counts project officers who over the years have done so much to use citizen science activities to engage with diverse communities and young people in, in monitoring their local green spaces, their local rivers and their woodlands and the wilder parts of Scotland. Thanks very much guys for all the work that you've done. Hello, I'd like to thank the fantastic citizen scientists who helped us to identify our intra wintering waterfowl in the Murray Firth SPA. This valuable contribution is going to help us to determine the best way to survey these species in the future and also help, in, help to determine our nationwide policy. I'd like to thank the volunteer orchid recorders from Dumbrock Muir for over 30 years of counting and recording the populations there. It's been really helpful for management on site. I would just like to say a huge thank you to all of the volunteers at Tents Ground and R. You put in so much hard work and time throughout the years and without your contributions we'd be lost. So thank you so much. A big thank you to the community groups who are co-developing the community-led marine monitoring project and who are collecting valuable marine and coastal data. Thank you to everyone who has taken photos in West of Ross National Scenic Area and across Scotland to help monitor how our landscapes are changing. A really big thank you to the volunteers, colleagues and friends at the Botanical Society of Britain and Ireland, Botanical Society of Scotland and Plant Life. Without the hundreds of thousands of plant records which you collect and without your passion for plants, nature conservation in Scotland would be much, much worse. Thank you. Hi, it's Callum from the Scottish Invasive Species Initiative. We'd just like to say a massive big thank you to all our volunteers for all the work you do. As well as helping our project, you're also helping deliver the Scottish Biodiversity Strategy. Thank you. I'm David O'Brien, Nature Scots Biodiversity Evidence and Reporting Manager. Many of us started out recording observations in old notebooks, which would become increasingly muddy and battered as the season wore on. Now we have apps on our phones feeding into digital databases. The technology is amazing, but it still needs volunteers like you out in all weathers. You take part in citizen science because you care. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, we need you to keep doing what you're doing. And so does Scotland's nature. So thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.